So we wanted to thank you. I'm Congressman Adriano Spayat. We, this we put together really quickly in less than 24 hours, but we felt very strongly that the uh, seriousness of uh, this issue was one that required for our community to mobilize as quickly as possible. And we will continue to mobilize until we make sure that road versus way it is preserved as it should, and a woman's right to choose is respected the way it should. And as you know, um, this is much more than just a woman's right to choose. This is about substantive due process. And things of the past, like we felt we left behind many years ago, like interracial marriage, right? and a woman's uh, reproductive health rights and other issues that could be debated at the state level and our rights could be really reduced to nothing. And so this is a critical, critical time. This is a radical decision from a radical right-wing court. Extremist. Extremist. And we got to push back. And so we are working, in my office is working on legislation about substantive due process and what the Constitution says about that to see how we can deny this Supreme Court from ruling on those types of cases. But we'll get, I'll get back to you on that um, in the next couple of days. Uh, but we also need to codify it. We need to codify it. We need to make sure that it is law, that it cannot be messed with, that it should be protected. And so we need to do that as well. And so for that reason, I think it's so important to hear from our, our U.S. Senator, who I think is fighting hard to ensure that this does not occur. The other side, they're all caught up on how it leaked, and that's not important. What's important is a woman's right to choose. That's what's important, right? And so that's why we're here today. And so we're here, and with that, uh, it is my great pleasure to introduce our U.S. Senator, Chuck Schumer. Thank you, Adriano, and he's done a great job on this and so many other issues. The Supreme Court leaked decision is one of the worst decisions that has ever been made by the Supreme Court. It will go down in infamy, infamy, like Plessy v. Ferguson like Dred Scott, all of those decisions that took away the freedom of Americans. And this is particularly despicable because it is anti-woman, anti-feminist, and Tez says that a bunch of white right-wing men on the Supreme Court are going to take away the rights of a hundred million American women. Will we let it happen? NFW. You know what that means. The bottom line is very simple. A woman's right to control her own body is one of the most fundamental rights. I'd like those son of guns on the Supreme Court, if some a group of women were telling them how to, what to do with their bodies, how they'd feel about it. They wouldn't tolerate it. But they feel that they can do that to the women of America. And they're doing it to the men of America, too. They're doing it to all of us. And here, Adriano mentioned this. You know how for 30 years, this is a, this is a partisan issue, folks. The right wing has taken over the Republican Party, and to a person, they are against codifying Roe v. Wade, but they are no longer in the majority. And I, as majority leader, this afternoon, just four hours ago, on the floor of the Senate in Washington, said we are putting legislation to codify and keep Roe v. Wade on the floor of the Senate, and we're going to see how every one of them votes. They have tried to hide it. Thank you, young ladies. They have tried to hide it. Mitch McConnell at a press conference. He complained about the leaks. 
They said, Mitch McConnell, for 30 years, you put people on the courts who want to undo Roe v. Wade. Are you glad you're undoing Roe v. Wade? He refused to answer. You know why? Because they know that the American people are on our side. Democrats are on our side, independents are on our side, and Republicans are on our side. But this right-wing cabal, this right-wing cabal, when Mitch McConnell wouldn't let Merrick Garland get a vote, when, when Trump said he's going to take a list of Supreme Court justices from the Federalist Society, founded by a group of people whose sole goal was to repeal Roe. But you know what, folks? They're the dog that caught the bus. They now know they're on the wrong side of history. We are going to fight them every week in the Senate. We are going to show them for who they are. We are going to keep them voting. And by the way, there are other rights at stake. They folks, they took away a woman if they take.